Hey everyone, this is Mike. Today I'm going to be doing a relatively quick video on Ray DPS and actual DPS, what it means, what's the difference between the two of them, how is everything calculated. Now, I know that neither of these two metrics are perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There are problems with both of these things. Um, but I still wanted to use them to clarify something that I said in yesterday's video. At the beginning of the Bard video, I mentioned that the Bard buffs actually made it pretty well and that now Bard is in a really good spot in terms of where it fits in the ranged role because the ranged role as a whole is very well balanced in between itself. Yes, the ranged physical DPS are still lacking a little bit when you compare it to the rest of the DPSs out there, um, but the role itself, within itself, the three jobs that are in there are very well balanced. And even though I said that, even though I I mentioned that at the start of yesterday's video there were still a few people in the comments complaining that Bart was too weak and that Machinist was OP compared to the other DPSs and they also showed me a couple of vlogs to say look at this DPS Machinist is doing so much more but the problem was that they were looking at actual DPS and not raid DPS and if you don't look at raid DPS you are missing quite a bit of the picture so to show you what all of this means I'm going to take a look at some of my logs I'm going to show you some bard logs, going to show you some machinist logs, just to actually show you what all of this means. So I'm going to quickly switch over to FF logs right here. I'm just going to take out the first best Ramu parts that I have. And then we can see over here we have two metrics. We have our DPS and we have our raid DPS. Now, our DPS itself is basically the DPS that we did minus, or well, our A DPS at least. So the DPS that we did minus single target padding. So that was going to be 19,237 for me. Now, when we look at raid DPS, we are actually going to be looking at the DPS that I did plus the DPS my raid buffs contributed to the rest of the party, minus the DPS that I got from the raid buffs of the party. So if I hover over here, you can see that I have given zero DPS because I'm a black mage. Black mage is a selfish DPS. They do not have any raid buffs, but you can also see that I took about 550 DPS from our Astrologian, our Scholar and our Dragoon. So you can see that actually the actual DPS that I contributed to the raid was only 18,725 and not the 19,000 that I did because I was stealing DPS from these other jobs in the game. Now, you can also do this vice versa. For example, looking at Astrologian, you can see that on the DPS scale, they're all the way at the bottom. And you would say, well, Astrologian's DPS is very low. You shouldn't play it. But on the other hand, you can see over here that in raid DPS, Astrologian actually did more than both of the tanks and the scholar as well. Uh, because they have been providing so much raid DPS. As you can see, they took about 100 DPS from our Scholar, from our Dragoon, but they have given the raid over 2000 DPS through their divination and the playing of their cards. So you can see that Astrologian is really strong when we look at raid DPS, but when a lot of people just look at the numbers, they just look at their mini parts on their ACT overlay or something like that. And that will only show you the DPS that you did, not the raid DPS that you contributed. For that, you need to look at something like FF logs. And because of that, a lot of people get the wrong idea. Sometimes if you just just look at this DPS column right here, you would say Astrologian was the weakest out of all of the jobs that were in this party. Whereas if you looked at the raid DPS, you would be like, oh my God, Astrologian is a really strong healer. It's even doing more than the tanks. And actually, Scholar is also doing more than the tanks, by the way. So just to show you this again, I'm going to go into statistics real quick. Well, first, let's go to rankings and then show you this as well. So we're going to go to our Bard, and then I'm just gonna, let's just pick Ramu again for consistency six. So you can see that the normal, well, the best DPS output of Bard, well, not the best DPS output, but the highest rate DPS is going to be 18,600, but you can see that their actual DPS was only 17,400. That's about a 1,000 DPS difference. So a lot of people would be like, well, 17K, well, 17.5K, not super high, but then when you look over at this column right here, 18K, that's quite a bit. So I'm just going to go again, going to do the exact same thing, and this time we're going to go to Machinist. Over... where is it? There it is. So you can see that again, Machinist rate DPS 18,600, which is about the same as Bard. It's literally... 
a what is it like a three dps difference when we look at the rank ones specifically and then when we look at actual dps our machinist was doing 19,000. so if you were to compare the 17 and a half from bard to the 19,000 of machinist you would be like wow this machinist machinist itself is way stronger than bard just looking at the rank one parses but when we look at the rate dps you can see that there's almost no difference in between these two jobs i'm just going to very quickly open up the logs of these two as well and you can see right here that our bard took about 500 dps from the rest of their party from again astrologian scholar uh, the summoner devotion and then also the battle litany from dragoon but they also provided 1760 dps through battle voice and their three songs now if i were to go look at this machinist again you can see that they took about 400 dps from the rest of the party from emboldened chain stratagem and battle litany but they gave nothing in return and that is why their rate dps is going to be quite a bit lower than what our bard was doing over here or well at least their rate dps is going to be about the same now what the Bart was doing here, it's a lot lower uh, than their actual DPS output. So that's why it's very important to look at both of these metrics. It's important to look at both the Ray DPS as well as the actual DPS as just the DPS number that you see on your mini parts on your ACT is not going to be showing you the whole picture. Ray DPS is also important. Look at what was given from other party members. Look what you gave to the rest of your party as well. And then you will finally be able to see the full picture uh, on how the classes are actually balanced. Because if you just look at rate TPS, you'd be like 19,000 versus 14 and uh, like 17.4. Well, the 19,000 is just straight up better. But then if you look at rate TPS, you can see that Bart actually provided so much DPS to the rest of the party through their rate buffs that they actually even out and have almost exactly the same rate DPS contribution, as I said, a difference of three rate DPS, which is pretty much negligible. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video. I wanted to get this out of the way because in most of the videos where I talk about like comparing metas or like comparing different classes against each other, people always complain that one is way OP compared to the other when I say that they are very balanced, of course. Like if I very quickly go over to the statistics, uh, you can see that the ranged physicals are still pretty far behind uh, on everything else. I am just going to go to 99 percentiles because that's where you usually see the best ones. Uh, as you can see right here, the three ranged physicals are still sitting at the bottom, whereas, for example, Black Mage and Samurai are comfortably sitting at the top. So I would like to see the ranged physicals gain at least like a good 500 DPS boost or something. Uh, and that would make them a whole lot better already because I do think that they're kind of in a bad spot. But when we look at the ranged physical as a role in itself and look at the comparison between the three jobs, there is less than a, or no, just a little bit more than a 200 rate TPS difference, which definitely is not all that bad, uh, all things considered. So consider rate DPS as well. When you make comparisons, don't just look at the DPS that people are doing, the actual DPS that they are doing, uh, as that does not paint the whole picture and also takes into account rates above that they were given uh, and not just the ones that they were giving to the rest of the party as well. Um, because that way, selfish DPSs are always going to look a whole lot better than rate buffing jobs. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me. And I'll see you in the next one.